SAP Business 110.0 Microsoft Office 365 setup. The email address which is set for the Office 365 account needs to be configured on the SAP Business My User setup as well. Afterwards, we would enable the Office 365 directly in the Administration, System Initialization, General Setting. Under the Path folder, we can select whether the Microsoft Office export would work locally or by using the OneDrive. If the OneDrive is selected, then the system displays the hyperlink for the Office 365 SAP Business One web application. The web application is connected to the system landscape directory, which manages the SAP Business One user authentication and contains the templates and the configuration. By using the user icon on the top right corner, we would select the application settings option. It shows the configuration together with the detailed help information. Here we would find the hyperlink to the Microsoft Azure site where the configuration process is starting. Let's use the register an application button to define the name for the application. For example, SAP Business One. It is necessary to fill the redirect URI because these settings would redirect the application to the office web service running on local SLD. The definition is the following. First comes the HTTPS protocol, then or SAP Business One server address together with the TCP IP port. Afterwards, the Office 365 path needs to be entered, which is followed by the authorized HTML file. If the app registration is created, then we would copy the application client ID from the Azure back to the Office web application running on or SAP Business One server. We would need to have a client sec secret for successful authorization. This secret can be created by using the certificates and secrets from the left menu option and by clicking to the new client secret button. After entering the name and selecting the secret time validity, we would copy the secret value to the local office config uh, configuration page. We would need to have some advanced settings in the authentication main menu option where the access token and the ID tokens needs to be selected. The authorization setting is done. Now we would set the application permission. We are selecting the API permission option. After that, we are using the add permission button, selecting the Microsoft Grabs and delegate the permission option. It is necessary to have the open ID and the profile permissions selected, which are available in the root of the permissions. Then we will navigate to the file subfolder where all sub permission needs to be selected. It is time to bind the SAP Business One user account to the Microsoft Azure account. We can use the warning toast message from the bottom left corner where we might find the link. It is redirecting us to the Azure site where the login needs to be performed and the additional permissions needs to be selected. This part contacted the setup of the Office 365. Let's test our configuration by exporting the sales order to the Microsoft Word. During the first execution, the Azure login credentials are requested and then the sales order is exported into the Microsoft Word. We will execute the same process for Microsoft Excel to export the content. Thank you.